Chelsea among London teams who showed interest in La Liga defender this summer. As per an exclusive Fabrizio Romano column on Court of Side, had tipped to football.london. Chelsea, along with their London rivals Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur, explored the possibility to sign Phil Larell centre back Porto Ray in the summer window. However, they were not ready to spend the Spanish club's asking price, which was in the region of £40 million. Link. All three clubs needed defensive reinforcements for different reasons, but they went for other options. Chelsea let go of Andres Christensen and Antonio Rudiger in the summer. They replaced them by spending over £100 million parceling on centre-backs Kalido Koulibaly and Wesley Fofana. They spent a hefty amount to price Marco Curella away from Brighton and Hove Albion. Torre is a fantastic left-footed centre-back who has experienced playing elite football for some years now. He was one of the mainstays in Villarreal's run to the Champions League semi-final last season, beating German champions Bayern Munich along the way. The Spain international was also part of the Yellow Submarines Europa League success in 2021 beating Manchester United in the final. So it is clear that the 25-year-old is an experienced player who is top class in most aspects of his game. He has been linked with English clubs before and now, namely Manchester United. Could Chelsea have been sensible and signed Torre from 40 million parceling rather than spending 75 million parceling on Fofana? Yes, it's the straightaway answer. It depends on the manager as well, who went for a versatile left footed defender in Cucurella, rather than signing a specialist top quality centre back. If the Blues get an opportunity to sign in the future, they should grab it with both hands. Thiago Silva is not getting any younger. Torre can be good in the center of a back three and can dominate forwards one versus one in a back four. <laughs>